and then check through the archives. Development is the crucial bit in this uh, stage of the season. Whoever can present suddenly a new step of development uh, is the one that will make the race and win the championship. So one, two for Red Bull. The perfect result. If I look at how far teams like Ferrari and McLaren are behind, uh, you have to assume that a Red Bull is going to win it in the end. Mark Webber winning then, and he leads the world championship. I think he has uh, uh, improved massively, and looking at, at his uh, results and, and the way he drives and his uh, consistency, I'm very much impressed with him. The championship challenge from this young German is really hotting up. He's naturally very talented, very smart, a bit unfortunate uh, uh, this year in some of the technical uh, issues uh, that, that uh, he seemed to have, but matter of fact is that uh, he will be one that, that you have to fight against uh, in future. Whether he does it this year or not, it's another matter. The man of the moment has the momentum as well for the championship. It's another win for Alonso. And with somebody like Fernando Alonso coming out and saying that he thinks he has an advantage because he's won a world championship before, he's won two, do you think that actually matters? Clear and short answer, no. Our McLaren going to take the fight to the front. Does it make it harder when you've got a teammate who's on a, an equal status as you? Not necessarily, because uh, all us drivers, we go for the maximum. Whether there's a teammate or there's another person in front of you, uh, I don't need anybody there that motivates me, challenges me. Uh, I will always do what I, I can do. But do you think at this stage they are too far behind now to, to play a key role in this championship? Uh, I'm afraid so, yes, I think so.